Hey Vikes, hope you had a good Labor Day weekend. I'm Maddie. And I'm Cody, and we have information on more new teachers and one monster of a story. Hey Cody, want to hear more about new teachers? Sure, I've heard rumors that they're pretty neat. Let's go check out more about the new teachers in the building. If you haven't noticed, many new teachers are around the school. SVTV caught up with a few to learn more about them. Um, my name is Erica Yoder. I'm actually here. I'm from here in Topeka. I went to Washburn Rural High School and my previous teaching experience is just student teaching. This is actually my first year teaching in general, um, and so I'm really excited about that, and I've done a lot of practicums and stuff elsewhere. Um, I've heard great things about Seaman just living here. Um, I played sports, so I was here a lot playing in the gym and whatnot, and then I just heard about the community feel that it offers, and so I really wanted to be a part of that, and so far it has just been incredible. It's been so welcoming, and everyone here is so nice, and so that community feeling that everyone talks about is definitely true. Um, I was surprised at the open classrooms. I did not know that, um, which I'm sure is what everyone says too. But um, just the staff, is they're all great. They're so welcoming, so nice. And then my students um, so far are really good too. So I'm excited to get to know them better as well. I think I just want to get to know my students, really build those relationships because that's so important being a teacher and um, really just grow in my teaching experience since I'm new. I hope to better my um, practices, our activities and curriculum and all of that. So really just making this first year um, set the tone for the rest of my teaching career. Um, I really enjoy coaching, um, coaching volleyball right now and I'm really enjoying coaching those girls. So I look forward to our season, so come watch us. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, what I'm enjoying thus far and then of course my classes. Another new teacher we talked to was Mrs. Lippy, and her experiences at Seaman has been great so far. Let's learn more about her. Um, I previously taught at Baser Lindwood High School and I taught uh, some of the core classes and electives like bio biology, geology, climatology, physical science, horticulture, so a lot of fun classes. Um, well, I knew Mrs. Atravadek and I did my internship here actually before I started to, uh, student teaching and I loved the experience and I was just looking to move closer to home. Uh, actually at the high school I went to, uh, Care Paravel, we would scrimmage semen and we weren't allowed to like play them because we weren't in the same league but they would beat us every time like 9-0 in soccer and volleyball so they were kind of a rival at the first you know out of this first year I I want to make a lot of friends and I want to really get to know my students and hopefully teach them to love science as much as I do if you haven't already met them be sure to welcome all the new teachers around Seaman Wow Maddie those teachers seem pretty cool I totally agree. Now let's go to our daily news. Tryouts for the Scholars Bowl team are tomorrow during activity period in the Writing Center. If you cannot attend tryouts, please contact Ms. Metner prior to tryouts. Put on the Brakes is offering a driver training course on September 22nd at Heartland Park. See Mr. Tinsley for details. Are you interested in robotics? Come to the first meeting during activity period tomorrow in room N15. If you cannot make it, talk to Mr. Kuhn or Ms. Halpin. If you are a freshman, sophomore, or junior and you would like to take a fun trip to Boston or New York City, go to Mr. Elliott's room tomorrow during activity period. For more information, ask Mr. Elliott or Mr. McAllister. The first district wellness night of the year is tomorrow night here at the high school from 6.30 to 8.00. There will be a meeting for any students interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow during activity period in Mr. McGoble's room and 12. 
Are you deer or turkey hunting this fall? A Kansas hunter's safety instructor will be in the Larry Berry at 10.30 this Friday. Now over to sports with Maddie. Make sure to attend events and give a welcoming and safe environment for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Be courteous with all and display good sportsmanship. <laughs> Keep facilities clean and follow school policies and procedures. Display school spirit. Win with character, lose with dignity. Be a Viking. Attend school events. Well, off to class. You can't go yet. You have to fix this terrible parking job. Oh, gee. Thanks. Forget about the parking. Just go on to class. You don't want to be late. But the person next to you isn't going to be able to park. Who cares? He's going to be late to class. You know what? I should fix it. You got to do the right thing. See ya, devil. No. Be courteous to other students. Park in your assigned spot. Be a Viking. For students that have qualified for the free or reduced meal program, you can stop by the athletic office for a free athletic pass. The first Vikings United sports basketball practice will be after school in the North Gym from 315 to 430. The Vikings boys cross country team play second in the varsity competition at the Manhattan Invitation. Here are the results. Congratulations to Erin Heber on her medal winning performance at the, cross, at the very competitive Manhattan Cross Country Invitational. Now over to weather with Josh Duncan. Well, Vikes, for today's weather, you really just need to know one thing. It's going to rain. But we'll get a little bit into more detail here. Yesterday, yesterday morning, we had some major flooding in Manhattan. Check this out. We had creeks and rivers that were just totally flooded after 5 to 11 inches of rain fell in the city and just to the north. So this rain is going to come our way, but probably not in that extreme amount. We have some periodic chances for rain over the next few days, but we really can't get into the exact timing. I will, I will show you one period I think has the best chance of rain coming up just a little bit later. But now let's take a look at what we're expecting in terms of amounts. I think most everyone will have at least an inch and probably in the two to four inch range, but we can't rule out some spots getting a half foot of rain. Still, I don't think it's gonna come all at once and it'll probably be spread out over the next several days. Otherwise, we're keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Gordon that, was, that formed over the holiday weekend. This is uh, expected to make landfall in either Mississippi or Alabama over, well, really tonight as a hurricane. And then right now, the, the National Hurricane Center has this pushing northwest, and we are even in the cone for impacts from this tropical system. Really what that would mean is perhaps the winds get a little bit stronger and even more tropical moisture, so that would not be good news for the weekend. But the trend is that it's shifting away to us, so we'll just keep, the, keep an eye on that over the next several days. Otherwise, Wednesday morning and afternoon is when I think the best chance for rain comes in. Some heavy thunderstorms will be possible across the eastern half of the state. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that highs will actually cool down quite a bit as we go into the second half of the week, mostly in the 70s. Now, back to your anchors. So Cody, what's this monster hunter game that I've heard about? 
Well, it's a new one that recently released for the Switch called Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I have more about that right here. To celebrate the release of the newest Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate, recently released on the Switch, I talked to some of our school for their thoughts and opinions on the series itself. My first Monster Hunter game was Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. My favorite one was Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which is my second one that I've ever gotten. Monster Hunter Tri was my first game, and then the favorite one is Generations because they added in Hunter Arts. It takes... Uh, a lot of the good parts of four and generations and put them in one game and it's very enjoyable. The game uh, that I would suggest to the newcomers would be Monster Hunter World because it's the easiest one. It only has like the low and high uh, uh, levels. Part of the game may be your average go slay the monster and come home with its rewards. The game truly shines in post-game with harder quests, amazing rewards, and in later games, the ability to play with your friends via online. My thoughts on it is that they're doing a great job and that they, they have added new monsters that you can fight, better ways to actually attack them with the art styles and other stuff like that. I would actually recommend it for other people, just not people that don't like uh, basically grinding for eh, equipment and stuff because it will take a while to get used to that. It is a good game for people who want to have a action-based game with sort of the concept of having like D&D sort of things added into it. With many weapons to choose from and many monsters to hunt, it is a definite that you will pour many hours into this game, whether by yourself or with friends. Cody Kaiser, signing off for SVTV. <laughs>Wow, this seems pretty neat. Yeah, this story keeps reminding me to hunt behemoth in Monster Hunter World, though. That's all we have for you today, Vikes. Catch you all next time.